hello there cancer and welcome into the channel this is sage sunset healing tarot and i do hope you are doing well in this time thank you for being here these are going to be general tarot card and playing card messages for the sign of cancer um because they're general messages they may all they may not all apply to you so take the messages that apply to you and the rest let them fly as you come in, I want to thank you for hitting the like button. It means so much that you would choose to support this video. You hitting the like button, it shows that you like the video and you're also giving support, right? So it's it's a conscious, it should be a conscious decision to hit the like button, okay? Um. Also, thank you for sharing the video and for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for being here. So we're going to get into the message. This is going to be about work for you. The energy of work feels like, it feels like one of those days you're at work and it feels like a Wednesday, like what do I do here? What am I really doing here? But you're not really thinking deeply. It's just one of those days, you're stand, there's not much to do and you're wondering what is your, not wandering. But it just feels like you haven't concreted or found your full footing or foundation or place in this space here where you're working you know maybe you're not connecting to the um environment and there's something else you know it's just that feeling of wondering it's that feeling of being at work and wondering like what am i doing here yeah i'm here to work but do i belong here <sighs> just one of those days and maybe that feeling is applied throughout your, um, just your feeling toward work in general. So it's not a particular day. So the strength card is at play here. And it's making me feel like maybe you feel like you're not in control of what is going on around you. You know, not grounded, not mastering the environment, not working on, you know, through yourself, not being aware, not being in control. Is that just the energy of feeling idle and then someone calls you to do something and you just go and do it? It's just like there's no initiative. Um, you can't take your own initiative here. You know what I mean? Like working for someone else. But you don't know what you're working for. I think that's the major thing here. What are you doing it for? You need to keep your vision intact. You need to ensure that every decision you make is organized and it's 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 it has a purpose the efforts you take should be aligned because the strength card is magician energy and feminine it's working with the elements all four water fire earth wind but it's more internally more subtle you know more feminine um so listen though, it's in the way you say excuse me and the way you say good morning and the intention in the way you pick up those papers off the desk and put them to that place. It's feeling useful, productive here, intentional. You know, I feel like in this year, when you're in this vibration of uh, having organization and working for, from a place where you know why you show up at work, it's like you're not just on a slave mill you are running the show even if you're working for someone else you are running your own show you know why you turn up at work you know what i mean it's for you so you have a plan in mind you're going to do your best of course and i feel like people will see you independently it's almost like you're able to work without being told without being micromanaged because you know why you're there with the strength card and people are seeing you, people are seeing you perform. You may not know this, but that act of taking up those, that pile of paper and um, organizing it for your own self and putting it over there and just operating out of your own, taking your own initiative around the office or wherever it is that you work, just being your own person, looking centered in mind and ground, just looking collected into the outer place and waiting for someone else to tell you what to do. I feel like that's going to make you shine. It's going to make you stand out when in internally you know why you are there. Even if you plan to quit next week, you know what I mean? You know why you're there today. So every day show up for you. 
it's just so beautiful because you're showing up for you and it's what people it's what it's what's making you stand out for to other people to your boss for example you know you're taking up that extra steel you're putting it over there you're walking around the, the building you're inspecting it's just for you you know why you're at work you're there to learn to grow to build and so you're always learning you're asking questions you're familiarizing yourself with the environment when you take your breaks you're not just sitting wondering you're actually taking a break from work it's just it's just like running your own show at work you go to work for you that's what i need you to hear see the care comes behind that yeah it's just about how you show up what you present so you know like i'm gonna go to work i'm gonna be pleasant i know it's not always going to be perfect but like i say remember you're doing it for you so every decision you're making every segment of that day you're remembering the strength guide the vibration of today i'm doing this this is my day i come to work i choose to be here i choose to show up i choose to present and i choose how i present you know and even if you're in disagreement with someone that you work with, you choose, you, you choose how you'd like that conversation to go. You know, and I feel mostly it's all turning, you know, turning out in your favor with the strength. Because this is kind of manipulation, but pure manipulation. It's almost like, you know, you're going to get your way to school, calm, collected, saying how you feel, standing out, um, knowing what it is you bring to the table. Being confident, it's Leo vibration with the strength guide as well. Fire, you know, being sure of yourself, being passionate and having energy, the energy to show up. Like people can see you, people that work around you, your employers, your co-workers. You don't have to speak to them about what your plans are. You know, people can see a focused, a driven, determined, efficient, organized person when they see one. You know, just by how you operate, just by the, the look on your face or, you know, just by how you show up. So it is important that before you go to work, whatever you do, you show up as you are. You show up for you. You show up with your own intention. Intention is very beautiful when you're talking about magic and uh, like um, intending the day, intending what you want intention intention is powerful so strength card feels like intention so you start today with your intention for where you wanted to go and then if you see it varying of course like as soon as i get to work uh what negative energy comes in and this and that what should i say breathe and remind yourself who you are and why you show up because if you show up if you decide listen i'm gonna show up this way and then the minute i test comes toward you it blows you over that means you're only pretending and that test was to reveal you but if they reveal how you truly feel you know like you're only pretending but if you really show up who you are representing who you are grounded gathered intentional for why you're going out today to work why you're presenting why you're putting yourself out there and and something negative comes at you you're going to understand that, listen, I, you know, like, it's like you're understanding that it feels like tests will come, but you understand why you already prepared for this. You didn't prepare for this to get thrown out, of course. You prepared for this because you understand tests are going to come. So when you feel one coming, you stand up. It's like having faith in the face of adversity. That's why you show up. You can handle it. So if somebody comes at you and be like, why are you moving those papers from where I put them? You know the strength energy. Remember, you're a magician with the eight. You're infinite. You're going to say something like, first of all, you have to have the intention. Why did you do it? And you have to know who you are and be like unbothered, kind of. You know what I mean? If somebody says something like that to you, 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 you may respond something like, Oh, I felt they would be more suitable here because so on and so forth. 
and even give some some information like i was doing research and i found that so on and so forth if they're placed here so you know don't don't just do something to impress someone know why you're doing it or just don't do anything at all and you do that now the person is either going to listen to you and go oh really or they're going to go put them back where they were what do you do you put them back where they were or do you argue you know, your intent. What will what will work best for my segment? Remember, I intend to come to work today, you know, to have a good day to for me. And and things are gonna go my way. Yes. The strength energy. So what do I do now? I'm gonna direct this conversation how I want it to turn out for me. And the best thing for me to do right now is what? Not to argue with this person or to prolong this person ha- Prolong this argument with this person. Have a debate. Maybe that could be fun if I have a debate with this person. Maybe we could learn something from each other. So, you know, it's up to you. Is this what's going to work for you? You can put back the paper and walk away. Or you can choose to teach someone something. So it's about having an intention. But you ensure that whenever you walk away or leave that conversation or that interaction, you feel whole some still. You feel grounded and know who you are. You know, you haven't lost your balance because someone else came into your vibration. That's the strength energy. So, um, strength energy also talks about kicking doubt and fear to the side. To the side. Okay? And I heard myself say to this side. Okay, so I feel like with the strength card, you do have what it takes to be beautiful, to stand out powerfully at work, to be noticed um, for what, what it is that you bring. But it feels like you have to be natural and not be trying to impress someone else and also be intentional for yourself so that someone can see that you're wholesome. You're a wholesome person with that intention for who you are. When you wake up and decide to go to that person's workplace, You know why you decided to do it. When you show up, you know why you show up. That's what people need to see in you. Okay? You don't have to speak to people. But work on you, the internal work with the strength. You're not working on, you're not looking at what everyone else is doing. You're not working with the external. You're working internal now with the magician, with the strength card. The magician card is external, like I see. Like you're going to, um... Uh, maybe trying to convince, maybe raise the tone of your voice or do more work or, you know, that's the external. The internal is you intend for what you want. You breathe, you settle your emotions. We have the King of Cups behind that. So you master yourself, your emotions, you come through and you know what it is that you're bringing. Okay. So I heard much love to you. I think the reading is done, right? (laughs) Because it sounds like I want to close. Much love to you, my darling, on this journey. Prosperity is yours. You deserve abundance. We see the Nine of Pentacles here. So it feels like financial stability for you um, have manifested through work that you've been doing or work that you've set up for yourself. What is that ace of swords what is that kind of work employment or um, any who work that you've been doing what's this the ace of swords is behind this one too the ace of swords to get you, the truth clarity get to the point the truth and clarity so it feels like really even asking for what you want being bold knowing that you have the powers in your hand all right, so that's that little message of inspiration for work, energy, effort. Do your best. Serve. It's like you know you're good at something. Serve it well. Intend well for what it is that you do. And have no fear with the strength card. Okay, so much love. I'll see you in the next one. I hope you found messages that inspire you and is able to help you on your journey. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Remember, on your way out, hit the like button, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you so much.